Hello everyone, uh, we are learning how to convert the given Mealy machine to the Mohr machine. So this is one of the example which is given and uh, we have to convert this to Mohr machine. So uh, for conversion of uh, these to the Mohr machine, let us analyze that uh, what are the outputs associated with the different transitions. So you can see here that the uh, Q3 has zero associated with this or we can start analyzing from Q0 itself. So let's analyze this Q0. So you can see that with the Q0, one is associated the output and with the Q0, one is associated as the output. So I can say that when I'm converting this to the Mure machine, Q0 will be only one state because there is only one output associated with it. Now uh, with the Q1, you can see here that it is having one output and this Q1 is having zero output. It means that there will be two different states for the Q0 when we will convert this to uh, the uh, Moore machine. So let's say one of the state is Q10 which produces the output zero and there is one more state which is Q11 that produces the output one. So here I'm taking two parts, two uh, subscripts so first subscript is telling you the state number and the sub second subscript is telling you what output it may produce. So that's why we have taken Q11 and Q10. So Q10 means it produces the output 0 and Q11 means it produces the output 1. So this was actually the, this was actually the uh, fibrication of Q1 state into two different states Q10 and Q11. When I refer to this table again, if I am at the Q2 state, so this you can see that it produces the output 0 and this produces the output 1. So I will have to fabricate this Q2 also in two different states, one that produces the output 0 and the other one that produces the output 1. So instead of only Q2, I will take two different states, Q2 0 and Q2 1. For the Q3, you can analyze that it is taking only 0 as the output. So where there will be no uh, differentiation and Q3 will produce the output zero. So there will, only one, there will be only one state in the Moore machine, equivalent Moore machine. So let's draw the table for this. For drawing the table, I know that they are going to be Q0 state, Q10 state and Q11 state. Similarly, Q20 state and Q21 state and Q3 state. So these are the different states. The outputs associated with these states will be for Q0, the output is 1. For Q10, the output is 0. Q11, the output is 1. For Q20, output is 0. For Q21, output is 1. And for Q3, the output will be Q3, the output will be 0. So outputs have been associated and now it's the turn to uh, show how what will be the transitions on taking the different symbols. So Q0 on taking the symbol A goes to Q3 and Q0 on taking B goes to Q1 state which produces the output 1. So Q1 that state of Q1 that produces the output 1 is Q11. So that's why I write Q11 here. Now Q10, it means that uh, the state Q1 that produces the output 0. So it says that it goes to Q0 that produces the answer or the output 1. I am referring to this line and this transition. And this says that I have to go to Q3 that produces the output 0. So I will remain at the Q3. Now Q11, it means I have to show the transition from Q11, means Q1. So I'll write the same thing. It goes to Q0 and it goes to Q3. So for Q10 and Q11, the transitions are same. Now for Q20, for Q20, it means that it produces the output 0. So Q2 on uh, A goes to Q2 state, which produces the output 1. It means that it will go to Q21. And another one is that uh, on taking a symbol B, it goes to Q2 that produces the output 0. So it will go to state Q20. Now uh, Q21, the same thing, 
it is referring to the Q2. So it will go to Q2 that produces the output one, referring to this one. And Q2 zero is a state which produces the output zero. So the Q2 state that produces the output zero. Now after this, the Q3 state goes to Q1 that produces the output zero, referring to this entry. So I'll write here as Q10. And on taking a symbol B, it goes to Q0 that produces the output one. So I'll write here as Q0 because there is only one Q0 state. So this actually completes the state transition table for the given Mealy machine. And that has been converted to the Moore machine by this table. So what we have done, if we summarize this once again, that I have analyzed the table of or the state transition table of Mealy machine. In this, I have seen that there is Q0 state that produces the output 0. Sorry, this produces the output 1. And Q1 sometimes is produces in producing the output 0 and sometimes it is producing the answer or the output 1. That's why I have segregated this into two state Q10 and Q11. Q10 produces output 0 and Q11 produces output 1. Similarly, you can see that the Q2 sometimes produces the output 0 and Q2 is sometimes producing the output 1. So I have made two different states. One of the state that produces the output 0 and another state that produces the output 1. So Q2 0 and Q2 1. About the Q3, it only produces the output 0. Hence, there is no need to make two different states. So since this table has uh, four states and uh, the Moda machine has six states. Right? So this way I, we have converted the given Mealy machine to the Moore machine. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we will take more examples.